Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. This video lesson explains how to set up an Android device and connect it to a computer so that the device may be used to run and debug Xamarin Android applications. In order to see and test your apps running on an Android device, you will need to enable debugging and connect the device to the computer. I will be showing you the step-by-step -step procedure in configuring your mobile device. Before we activate or enable the debugging mode for your mobile phone, we must first enable the developer options on your mobile phone. Developer options on Android have been hidden by default since version 4.2, and enabling them can vary based on the Android version. For Android 9.0 and higher, enabling developer options can be enabled by following these steps. First is to go the settings screen. Then select about phone. Then look for build number and tap it seven times. A message will pop up telling that you are now a developer. For Android 8.0 and Android 8.1, go to Settings screen, select System, select About Phone, then look for Build Number and tap it seven times. A message will pop up telling that you are now a developer. For Android 7.1 and lower, go to the Settings screen, select About Phone, then look for build number and tap it seven times. A message will pop up telling that you are now a developer. After enabling the developer mode, we are now ready to enable the USB debugging and allow our mobile device to debug through USB. For Android 9.0 and above, First, we need to go the settings. Select System. Select Advanced. Select Developer Options. And enable the USB debugging. For Android 8.0 and 8.1, go to the settings. Select System. Select Developer Options. And enable the USB debugging. For Android 7.1 and below, go to the settings, select developer options, and enable the USB debugging. The final step is to connect the device to the computer. The easiest and most reliable way is to do so over USB. You will receive a prompt to trust the computer on your device if you have not used it for debugging before. You can also check Always Allow from this computer to prevent requiring this prompt each time you connect the device. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone.